in the past we've seen that uh, whenever you want to sum up um, whenever you want to sum up this the the formula is given by c times n uh, whenever you want to sum up this um, the formula well we've seen that uh, the formula is given by by this so now I'm going to give you a new one here and, and I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to ask you to accept it whenever you want to sum up this here which is like uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared and so on um, whenever you want to sum up this whole thing here the formula for that will be given by this now at this stage I'm just going to ask you to accept this um, it's, it's better to use uh, 3D animation to illustrate this to you than it is for me to explain it so in the description uh, of, of this video I'm going to um, I'm going to um, post some links to uh, to illustrate this whenever you want to sum up um, whenever you want to sum up all of these here, you can just simply use this formula. It's better to use 3D animation to um, to illustrate this, and and also you can use what's called proof by uh, proof by induction to show that this equals this. And the idea behind proof by induction is is this: you have a ladder here. Uh, hang on, one. So 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 you imagine you've got a ladder here, and then and then uh, so this is uh, this is one. Two, three, four, five, and then and then and then dot dot dot, and your ladder goes goes on. Hang on, uh, and then your ladder goes on to to n minus one to and then n here. So so your ladder goes on and on. Um, the the idea behind proof by um, well, you can use proof by in, uh, by induction to show that this equals this, and the idea behind proof by induction is this. You have two steps. The first step is to prove that this is, is true, and then and then the, the second step is uh, is to show that uh, whenever this is true, then 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 this then the next one above it will also be true. So you have two steps. One is the first step here, and then this is the second step. And proof by induction is that you once you've got these two steps here, you can set the whole thing in motion. So so therefore it will prove. Um, Every single one here. So, so proof by induction is when you have the the um, you you prove the first step. So, so this happens to be true. And once you've got your once you've once you've uh, developed this step here, then you can apply. You can keep on applying step two. So the first step is to show that this is true, and then the next step is to apply step two. So once this is true, then therefore the one above it is true. Okay, and then you apply this. Uh, you apply step two again. Okay, once this is true, then the one above it will also be true. So this is good. And then once this is true, uh, then then the one above it will also be true. So th so this is good. And then once this one's and and so on. And then and then it it turns out that you um, you will prove that every single step will, uh, will will work. Therefore, the whole thing will work. But that that's a that, that's the that's for another. That's for another time. But the uh, the the point is that at the moment, just accept that this uh, uh, this equals this. Okay. Um, I'm gonna because it's better to use 3D animation to show this, and also you can use proof by induction to to show that this equals this. Okay. And also um, accept that this is also true. Okay. So when whenever you want to uh, sum up. One cubed blob. This plus this plus this plus this. Um, it, the formula for that will be given by this. Okay. So now you can use you can use these two here. You can use this. You can use this. So this is squared. And then you can also use this to work out to work out this summation here. Okay. So so here. Uh, so as an example, how would you uh, evaluate this here? Okay, so so the uh, the first step break break the two up. So uh, so this one, so this thing here becomes this, and then this one here becomes this. Okay, now you can use uh, you, you can apply the formula above. So to the power of three here, you, you, when you're trying to um, to sum up to the power of three, you would use this formula here. To the power of three, uh, to the power of three here, you would use this formula here. And then later on to the power of two, uh, to the power of two, which is this thing here, to the power of two, we would use this formula here. Okay. So going back to uh, to uh, to down here, right there. So we're trying to evaluate this here. So break this up into this and this. 
and then um, and then now use a formula. So to the power of three, we would use this formula here, and then plus plus, and then this is squared. So we would use this formula here. So now don't forget this is your n here. This is your n here. So hang on. So for one hundred, you you would put the hundred. Well, for 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 the case of one hundred, you would put the one hundred into here, and then into here, and then for this one here. You would put the 100 into here, into here, into here, and so on. Okay, so so that would then take you to here, and then jump to your calculator. It will give you, um, it will give you this. Okay, but but the important thing is, um, the important thing here is, um, is just to accept it. Just to accept it. Accept that this equals this. Um. And then accept, well, please accept that this equals this.